<laughs> All right, guys, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, me and Brandon, we've had an absolutely terrible day. Horrible. <laughs> we've sat in the uh, sun for maybe four hours trying to catch a flathead catfish. And that's just one one of the trips that we've done in the last <laughs> yeah. three weeks. Yes. I have gone out there so many times and they just don't want to cooperate. And how many snags? I mean, like four today Every at least. Every other cast is a snag, yeah. yeah. And you just lose hook after hook, weight after weight. So anyway, today was another bad catfishing episode. We come to this pond and we didn't really have much luck, but about five minutes ago I had something crazy happen. I caught a fish in a way I've never caught before. I don't uh, think you were going to catch it at all. There's no way to really <laughs> explain it, but uh, we'll just roll the footage and show you guys. Thanks for watching. You ready for this? Fish on. You got to get him for me. He's not small. You look... Whoa, 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 you gotta scoot up. Okay, well, scoot up. okay. Just... There he is, he's over there. No way. No, that might not be him. Okay, so can you reach in the water and feel the line? No, oh, dude, that's far. <laughs> no, can you reach? There he is. That's him. <laughs> okay, so Brandon, reach, put your hand in the water, not necessarily to the hole. Okay, yes. you gotta get off the hole, cause I you're, okay, you got the line, yes. <laughs> Come here, baby. Keep reeling. He's going deeper. If he starts pushing, just let him let him go. Keep reeling. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's running. Oh, he's actually not that bad. Oh, wow. This is hilarious. This is madness. Okay. He's got a four pound line, bro. Be careful. I'm, I'm being as gentle as possible. I know you are. How, he's like a three pounder, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad fish. It's the only stinking fish we've caught today. <laughs> okay, so can you unhook him for me? Yeah. And then I'll get my bait back up through here. He didn't like that. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> so, to be, so to be clear, <laughs> if that fish would have gone that way, me or Brandon would have gotten in there and felt the line and grabbed it out so there's no way we would have that at least left perfectly. the fish yeah that worked out actually perfectly yeah it's a that thick is guy ridiculous dude how big is he healthy little two, two, little and a half. two pounder <laughs> well there it is that was pretty cool thank you brandon Appreciate of course that was, that was really fun <laughs> I think you're gonna need to change your line. We walked through that tunnel earlier. Got him? Got him. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Yeah. You alright? Oh my gosh. So can you help me? He might be yeah. bigger, Brandon. Get this fish on top of he might be bigger. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Can you hang on? Oh, and there he went. He spit it. He spit it? He spit it. How big was he? He was the same size. Dude, I can't believe there was another one down there. All right, uh, caught one and lost one. 
there's still a huge fish to be caught in this video don't give up yet but my reasoning behind this is that I put my drag super super low so there's no way the fish can break me off on the rocks right there and in the event the fish goes back this way I get in the water and I grab the line and I pull the line out to try and catch the fish that way and if it goes that way which they almost always do then hopefully Brandon would be cool enough to grab the line for me and catch the fish so there may be some hate saying that that's a terrible way to fish but I thought it through before I did it and I made sure that I would do everything in my power to not just leave a hook in a fish's mouth and then uh, it'll say on my end while I reached down there and felt the line I could feel when it was pulling and able to, you know, yeah. give give it a little bit more instead of just grabbing the line. And literally, if I cast two feet out, I can't catch a fish. They're just right in the shade like that. That's crazy. But I caught a real big fish yesterday in a really cool way, and I'm going to roll that footage for you guys now and show you that catch. Thank you guys for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Oh, we didn't even cast. We did not even cast. We never even pressed the button on our reel and that fish ate it. Look at that. Did y'all see that? There was no cast. That is insane. That was pretty cool. Just got my reel out, dropped the jig in there, and saw the line just twitch when it dropped. What do you think? I had to see what you pulled in because I've been fishing here for years and all I've ever gotten is uh, uh, catfish. Really? Yeah, after a rain, it's the teeth. That's a large mouth. Uh, there's a bunch of tilapia in here. There's way too many. Did you ever get them to bite something? Yeah, you see like this? Well, I've used those and haven't gotten caught. They'd hit that. Got something not small. Oh boy. Funny that that fish would not hit our uh, our bass jig we popped in there. But the second it saw this, it inhaled it. And we absolutely 100% got our bass jig in front of that fish. Not a giant, but cool colors on that fish. Look at that stocky little dude. Go call your grandmother. Good gracious. Whatever that is, it wrecked it. It's a drum. It's actually a pretty big drum. That was a thump. You, my friend, are bait. We're going to make a catfish video later today, and that's our bait. <laughs>